Hi, it's me Burbingish, and welcome back to the Chaser progression. So today we're oh what the well, anyways we're gonna continue going for Contractor, and we have two of the five bounties that we need to please the Ministry. But to get Contractor, we actually need to go get a bell, which is what I'm gonna be focusing on in this video. Oh. Oh, well, that guy's dead. So right now, I just want to max out my flame charm to 75 and go fight the duke. I have to go fight the duke anyways for contractor, so I might as well uncap my flame charm while I'm at it. Alright, so I actually forgot the level of some of my stats earlier, so I'm gonna go ahead and max these out real quick. Oh my goodness, I got like three freshers on me. Oh, one's dead. There we go. Let's see, lose your mind. Uh, I'm just gonna burn that explosive. Ow, what the? Hey, hey. Okay, hold on. Let me just pick my cards here. Alright, right now, since I'm not that far off from 75 Flame Charm, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the Etrus. Overflowing Dam, let's go. I guess I'll take Flame Wisp. Like I said before, I'm not quite sure how hard they nerfed it. Oh. Wait, no! no. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. These guys are about to get me. These guys are gonna get me. I have to stall for time. I just want to get to Aresia, guys. No, 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 no. Don't hit me with the Flame, flame Assault. Ooh! Okay. All right, it's time for some classic running away from the law. You know, now that they removed the walls, like depths wall climbing stuff, I wonder if they're gonna remove this little wood method too. Cause you know, the, the whole depths wall thing, that was like a classic, classic little bug. I mean, not bug, well, I guess bug, but like kind of more like a cheese or something that would be otherwise pretty annoying to go through. So if they're going around covering all these little, uh, little life hacks, I wonder if this one's gonna get patched too, which would be annoying. Oh! They have new dialogue now. How can I make some money and how can I earn favor of Etria? Yeah, I need a favor of Etria. What do you want? Oh, okay. It just told me to do events. <laughs> well, I got a better solution. Copious amounts of wood. You know, I'm going to be going in there with zero light weapon and a stiletto fighting Duke. This might give me a little trouble, but would I lose? All right. See you in layer two, Kenneth. Five minutes later. Oh, right. The librarian. Man, this sucks. Wow, <laughs> that is a really, really straightforward flame wisp. I'm pretty sure you only get keys like Z, X, and C. Wait, no, I think you get V too. So that's like, if you ever taken probabilities, that's like one out of four, three times in a row, which is like a one in 64 chance. So hey, I got pretty lucky here. What was I doing again? Oh, right, the librarian. Dude, this guy's so forgettable. Hello, Lord Regent. I'll be seeing you again soon, but uh... It's, it's gonna take a sec. What I say soon then? All right, if I'm gonna be honest, I'm not quite so confident in me beating Duke with a stiletto at level 14. But I mean, we might as well give it a try, right? I think what's gonna be the most annoying part is that I just can't execute his servants. So they're gonna be scratching at me while Duke is throwing his like fancy javelins and whatnot, and I'm gonna take a whole bunch of damage. Hopefully, I can just get him stun locked enough to where he can't even spawn his minions, and we'll just uh, we'll just be fine. We'll be just smooth sailing from there. Oh right, the update dropped yesterday, which means that there is now new islands, as you can see right over there. If I have some spare time this episode, I do want to go around and uh, check those out. Oh, well, oh, that was easy. Wait, I'm playing flame. Yeah, the servants are going to be easy. What am I talking about? Ooh, that was nice. I cannot see in this, like, pitch black room. Oh, crap. Ooh, I know it's supposed to be dark and mysterious, but when you have a game that's about reading your opponent's moves, it's really hard to do that when it's everything's pitch black. And when your opponent's pitch black, too. Ooh, not even close. Don't look at my health bar. I didn't even bring a campfire, did I? Oh, man. Let's try it. And that was a horrendous start. So all I have to do is get through the shield phase without a scratch, and then I just corner stun him. Flame Wisp, could you uh, heal me up here? That will be greatly appreciated. Oh, he's out. Alright. And I get a free health pack. Thank you, Duke. Yo! My vent just triggered the counter. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. You know what? Screw this. Three, four. One, two, three, four. I, I deal zero posture damage right now. One, two, three, four. If you guys are confused, I'm avoiding flourishing him because that triggers his vent. So if I keep this up for like the next 20 uh, for the next 20 minutes or so, I should have this guy not dead. 
Okay, this guy just spammed all his minions. Alright, no more minions, dude. Just you and me. How did that grab me? Hold up, play back that footage, bro. You're not supposed to be parrying this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, crit. Oh crap, he's gonna bend. Yep. One, two, three. Oh, what? How was he positive there? Did he actually wait for my flourish? Flame boy, someone need you to heal me. I have no campfires. This guy doesn't hit take hit stun, I forgot. No, 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 no. He has not pulled out that move in like forever. Now this is how you're supposed to do it. Nope, not that part. Dude, I cannot see. Okay, we're, we're a little low on health here. Two, three, four. four. That... No, you, you can't just not take hit stun, dude. This is not how Deep Woken's supposed to work. Okay, Agitating Spark is actually getting kind of annoying because every time I hit him with, like, my guard break moves, I have to dodge myself like this. Now I have to dodge backwards, and I can't really get him into a, a good combo. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is actually getting quite annoying. And also quite dangerous. Oh, I'm dead. Well... That was worth a try, <laughs> but I think I need to get my level up a little bit and move off of a stiletto. I'm sure there's people out there that can actually beat him with a stiletto, and right now I'm not one of them, so <laughs> I'm to level up my light weapons. After fighting Duke for that long, I should have enough to just get to level 13. Well, I mean not, yeah, level 15, I mean. There we go. Let's see what we get. Neuroplasticity, nice. Wait. Emperor Flames. I need Emperor Flames. I really wish they would tell us how much Anxious Guard actually did, but I'm gonna take it anyways because, you know, parry window shortening, that, that's crazy. Oh, final act. Landing a fire mantra immediately after flourishing an opponent will cause them to explode. Okay. So right now we're at 13 light weapons. I'd say if I want to defeat the Duke, I'm gonna need a little more light weapon than just 13. So let's go ahead and hunt some bounties. So we're going to be looking for people in uh, Lower Aresia so we can get our ministry rep up. Firebomb. Oh, no, that doesn't work. There we go. Hey, you! Hello? Uh. <laughs> okay. Well, that was, you know, that, that was a pretty easy bounty. I just... Uh, okay. I think he might have been a little slow on the logging there. Typically, you want to do it before they hit you. Firebomb. That's nice, I can just slap them. I suppose it's time to go turn in that bounty. Oh, right, and the and the little islands. Oh, this is this is a great opportunity. We'll check out the islands and then we'll go turn in the bounty. Is that a fresher? Why is a this is a fresher on here? Yeah, I do need light weapon. I do need light weapon. I wonder if there's like actual loot on here that I have to like, you know, go through an entire stealth section maybe just to get to. There we go. Pressure down. Another fresher, okay. Did they just take a piece of the hive and just put it in the ocean? There we go. What's in here? Another fresher. Alright, buddy. At least I'm getting my light weapons up. Alright. Hmm. You you can't be serious right now. It's just island just all freshers. It's it's just all freshers. Okay, fine. I'll take the light weapon XP, but come on man. There's gotta be more than just freshers. Are you gonna come and fight me? Oh, Come on, last fresher, and then hopefully I get, like, some cool loot out of it, right? Okay. Oh, hey, it did spawn loot. Wow. This, <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> okay, you know, I was expecting, like, hive tier loot, at least, since, you know, it's freshers, but, you know, whatever, man. Is there anything else on this island that I can, uh, that I can find? More freshers per- Ah! Oh, okay. Well, I guess it just disappears. I mean, hey, at least they're at least they're trying to do more sea content. I like that. You know, maybe an island of just freshers might be a little uh, a little repetitive, but if it's whatever, it's fine. It's, just, you're, it's the right direction. I wonder if I get another level from this. That was a hell lot of freshers I just killed. Three investment points left. Okay, all right. <laughs> pretty close though. Pretty close. Time to go turn in my uh, turn in my bounty. All right. Can't you sell stuff at the traveling merchants now? I'm here to turn in my bounty. Oh, and I- Hey, wait, the ministry no longer sees you as worth fighting. That way, I'm actually done? That was only three bounties. Wait, I'm just done with the ministry bounties. Let's go. Okay, I thought I would have to do two more, but I guess we can move on to the next step. Which, uh, I'm gonna have to check what it is what it is. Get all this out of my inventory. 
All right, right now we're still trying to beat the Duke of Aresia, so I suppose we'll just level up our light weapons a little bit. I'm hoping maybe I can find like a gilded knife around here. Just anything other than just stiletto. I wonder if there's any more islands around. I do want to check some of them out. Oh, wh oh, hey, hey, would you look at that? My wish came true. Spawned right in front of me as well. Wait, is this the same one? Please don't tell me it's the same one. Uh, it's the same one. Come on, I want to see a new one. Not, not another five freshers. Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Let's see what we get here. Oh, Fresher Claws. Mirage Clone. Yep, that's good. Do I take, um... I'm not quite sure if I take, like, the Legendary variant, right? Oh, Flaming Scourge. Wait, they nerfed that. Uh, I'll take... I'll take Flame Assault. Did they ever nerf Flame Assault? Because last I remember, you could just be, like, a menace with this. You would be across the map in chimes. Boom! And then hit them for, like, a bar. Well, half a bar, at least. What is this? The Hive Lord's Wrath? Alex Emerad. Oh, that's interesting. Oh yeah, I think I heard about this. Raguzer was like giving out um uh, giving out names, custom names to people who uh to people who beat him in chimes, right? Yeah. Shouldn't the name be first though? Like Alex Emerad, the Hive Lord's Wrath, and not the other way around. That's how it was back in the Battle Royale tourney. Well, if you ever wanna farm freshers and don't wanna bother going to Hive, hey, I, I do I have a solution for you. Alright, that's our second fresher fest done. Uh, nothing good again. Oh, and there's a chest just buried in here. I guess I'll have to wait until this thing goes down. There we go. Hey, wait, hold on. This is like hive loot. You got a bunch of adjusticators co and like the warden pauldrons. Oh, wow, an another one, but this one is different. All right, you know what? Fine, we'll check out this one. We'll check out this one. These are like the real annoying bandits with like the lightning cloak now. Flame blade. How did I miss that completely? Flame blade. All right. So what is this island? It's got like a bunch of coral and stuff on the side. Ooh, I can I can stealth. Wow. I guess that I guess that's the chest. One chest right here, and one chest uh, inside the wall. Oh wait. Oh, it's a death chest. Yo, bounce starduster. With a decent amount of HP. Well, I mean, not competitive amount of HP, but like, it's it's nice. Alright, since we have a whole bunch of notes here, and I don't want to just die and lose them all, I'm gonna go and upgrade my fire moves over at Songseeker real quick. You know, I just thought about something, actually. Hold on. This whole, like, talk about the custom names got me curious whether I can do this. What? Hey, what the? Where'd you come from? Oh, he's swimming back to his home. Ah, nature is restoring. <laughs> So, if I do slash e more, my name becomes Biggest Burb, right? I got that from, like, the tourney, the Battle Royale tourney. But now, can I just change my name back to Charles and have, like, Burb as a last name? Boom. Confirm. I think I broke it. Uh, oh, oh, shoot. <laughs> I, I don't think the system's, like, designed to handle Charles Burb. Well, no, I just, I just broke it. I can't even... I can't even close the menu. I guess I have to leave and rejoin. I can't even- The leaving button doesn't even work. Alright, I guess I'll just have to leave this way. This is so sad. All I wanted to do was be Charles Burb. That would have been such a good name to have. But I think I can at least change it back. Oh, name communication needs time to recharge. What? You have a time limit to change the name? Seriously? Not Okay, I guess, uh... I guess we'll just stick with Biggest Burb for now. I'm not quite sure how long's the cooldown, but since this is a chaser build, I need to go back to Charles. Charles Osset. And also Archmage, please make it so that Burb is a legal last name. Okay, we are here at Songseeker. I'm not quite at 80 Flame Charm yet, 5 off. So I'll only be able to get these moves up to level 4, but that does mean I have extra notes to spend on other moves. Get my Flame Blade up to level 4. Fire Palm. And I guess I'll put flame assault up to and just a little bit on flame wisp all right that's good all right since i have a couple of crystal lenses in my inventory right here i'm gonna modify my flame assault oh crap i just bugged the ui there we go flame assault and i'll just put one crystal lens to see how it does Oop. that's actually pretty decent all right hopefully we can change our name back now done all right, now that I have all my fancy moves, maybe it's a good time to go uh, void walking. Net Zack Vendit. Oh, this guy has a black diver. Let's go. What? He hits me first instead of my revenge landing. All right. Flame palm. Okay, this guy just keeps landing moves before I do. Let me pop my flame wisp first. Hit him with a revenge. Running M1. 
flame assault. Kind of wanted to get a little more out of that combo, but it's fine. Oh, I'm just throwing explosions everywhere, huh? Flame blade. Flame palm. I'm just spamming mantras. This is truly the lame playstyle. I miss. Okay. Ding, ding, ding. Uppercut. Flame assault. Not quite sure that was the best move to use there. Ooh. I have so many gap closers, it's not even funny. Ah. Whoops. Gap closer. What the? Hey. This is my bounty, bro. Well, guess I'm fighting this guy then. Wings of glory. Hey. Let me grip. Why? It's my bounty. Diver journeyman. I. All right. Well, this guy had 24 crustacean meat. Let's see. Nothing really all that good in here. I don't know who just comes up to a guy. It's like, hey, give me that grip. Like, bro, I killed the guy. I get the grip. What? All right. That bounty should have given me a nice amount of weapon XP. Hopefully enough to get us to the next level. Ah, two points off. Hey, I need some uh, weapon XP, so I'm just going to help you out here. Alright, you can have the chest. I, I'm not going to steal your crap. Did I get the weapon XP I need, though? Yes, I did. Ooh, safety dance. Your base dodge frames are increased by 0.03 seconds. 30 milliseconds extra dodge frames. You know what? Sure. I mean, I might as well have it. Uh, neuroplasticity. Oh, yes. Wait, now that I'm here and I'm looking at the traits card, I do need to use the shrine here. I could always use it at max level, but then I would have to uh, swap one of these points around since I since they will both be full. But now it will be a perfect time to save one knowledge. Hey, that's two of the four shrines done. And I forgot to mention this, but the reason I didn't continue uh, getting the shrines like from last episode is because I realized you could just, you know, go down to like the depths and do it when I got my resonance. Because I need bell anyways. And also, I just got a Tonto. I'm just a little ways off from using it, so time to get more medium. I mean, like Damien Juno, and he's about to leave. No, 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 no. You come back here right now. No, don't do it. Don't go to the hive. No. Man. I'm now fighting a titan. Odin Zaniki. Oh, Summer Isles. Uh, the Summer Isles are gonna get real mad at me. Ooh, that was kind of slick, honestly. Hey, come here. Uh, are you gonna fight back? Oh, avoid. Hi. I'm here to kill you. Bah! And the Summer Company has declared me their enemy. This is gonna be really inconvenient. Boom. Boom. Could you... Could I what? Could, could I not? Uh, you got notes? I'm about to rob this guy. <laughs> well, I'll have to fix my summer company rep after I kill all these guys. So I do need the notes. No, this is a, this is a very cooperative, like... What was it called? I guess, robbing victim? <laughs> you know? I could have been logged. Yes. I trust you for... Uh, mm -hmm. I, I trust you to give me the 500 notes. Yay! Okay, I'll be going now. Bye bye. <laughs> 180 notes. Oh, come on, man. This guy's the real scammer. You know, what do I know? You're lucky? What? I always had the option. I'd win. Nah, no, I'd win. <laughs> I, I think I would win, but whatever. Alright, I actually found this diver's journeyman robes. And I've never actually crafted this thing before, so I'm wondering what the ingredients are for it. Learn. Oh, wow. This is. Wait, this is just the. What is it called? This is just a hive drone. One rock, two megalodon hide. This is just a hive drone. But that is pretty cheap, so I'll just go ahead and make it. You know, it's like I start off as like a as like an apprentice diver. I go into journeyman and I go to black diver. You know, like the free stage of the progression, bruh. It's like the lore and stuff. But the question is, where where am I gonna buy a rock from? Is there a rock in here? That's coal, right? 
No, that's a rock. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and craft this. Boom. Look at that. I'm now red. This should be pretty useful when we're fighting Duke because it does have like a lot of elemental armor. Its durability is a little low though, so I'll have to watch out. Uh, speaking of durability, I should get some coal for a uh, umbral flint. Now we can set campfires and use treasure scales. Ooh, we're almost there to 50 light weapon and I could use the Tonto. Come here. I missed. God. Ooh. Alright, he hit me with the flame blade first, which is... Okay, dude, you don't have to make this a freebie one, you know. Okay. <laughs> okay, nice. That guy just got flung. Hit him with the... Stop! This Grand Javelin guy is actually really annoying. I'm just gonna dance around them because I have, like, all these little dash moves. Come here. I know you're low. Hit him with the Flame Assault. What the? Hey! Oh, okay, I guess we'll make this a 2v2, why not? I'll get this guy up here. You know, flame assault. What? Yep, free cut. Oh, there we go. One's down. You take one, I take one. Fair deal. Fire palm. Alright. 2v2, successful. That should have netted me some light weapon, right? Yep. Oh, ah, man, one light weapon off. Okay. Wait, I, I have 50, 50 all of the deck points. I forgot. I'll just put that in there. Goodbye, three-star stiletto. You are being replaced by the Tonto. It's a sad day. Now that we have a decent weapon and some decent armor, I think it's about a good time to try Duke again. And then hopefully, if all goes well, I can get my light weapon up to 65 and finally equip the Flare Blood commas. Come on, let me just... No, wait, wait, I forgot. I don't have Union Hook. Ow. Oh, shoot. No, no. Dude, I've just taken so much fall damage. All right, well, good thing I prepared a campfire. Well, materials for it anyways. I've just now prepared it. All right, well, it's time to head back to Aresio. Bah, bah, bah. There we go. Okay, fresher. Knives Journey. Ooh, wait. Oh, they changed the Knives Journey, huh? When did they make that change? Because I, I never noticed. I don't really go with dagger builds anyway, so. But now it's no longer like the random crit. Oh, Ash Slam. Nice. I don't think I'm going to keep Shoulder Bash around, mostly because it's like... It, I only use it really for a quick like combo mix-ups, but since we're so fast with daggers anyways, it's about like the same swing speed. And, oh, 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 oh. What? What? What just happened? Wait, why did everything just go black? I look away for a second and everything is black and I was like, what? Oh wait, that was flame blind. That was flame blind, wasn't it? Yeah, that makes sense now. Uh, I was expecting white, but like since I turned on the color sensitivity like settings for, you know, video and whatnot, it made it completely black instead and I was just so confused. You know, by just going over the Duke, I already got like a whole bunch of light weapon because I was traveling through Hive. I think after the Duke fight, I'll definitely have enough XP to use the Fleur Blood commas. Oh, hey, <laughs> an enchant, nice. How do I keep getting enchants on the one slot I'm not going to be able to enchant a weapon on? Well, anyways, we're here for round two with Duke of Aresia. Now that we have a whole bunch of- Oh, that's not Fire Palm. That is not Fire Palm. I keep forgetting that I moved my Ash Slam to number three, and now my Fire Palm is on four. With the rate we're increasing our light weapons, we might just get to 65 before we even reach Chaser. I think I left a bat back there. Fire Palm. What? It's still stuck? Okay, let me guess. It's the bat on this side. Yep. Now, let's go. Also, is it just me, or do you guys assign, like, move types to your number keys? Like, my second key, it always has to be, like, some type of guard break or a gap closer. My third key has to be, like, a solid damage move. My fourth key can be either a guard break or a, uh, long range move. And anything past that is based off of the build. So, you see, I have Flame Blade for the guard break, Ash Slam for the nice damage, Flame Palm for the long range. And I guess I do put supports typically on a five key, because that's just, like a bit far. I like rebinded my 6 and 7 to my uh, mouse, which is why I can reach it. But anyways, I made campfires and we will be very prepared to fight the Duke this time around. All right, let's go. By the way, do any of you guys actually know what Duke's shield is based off of? Some people say it's posture, some people say it's damage. Have we ever gotten like confirmation? Actually, that should be in like a Mythbusters video. Deep Woken Mythbusters, that would be good. He is now 
out of his shield face, and I can beat the hell out of him. Come on, Duke. Back in the corner you go. No! <laughs> what happened to my body there? I don't want him in, like, this area, because it's really hard to see with all these little tubes around. I should move him to, like, a place with a little more light. Right over there should work. Go. Flame Wisp. Man, this whole, like, triple C Flame Wisp is really useful. Just slam it out in the middle of a combo. Oh, wow, that was incredibly easy. GG's! Dude, I didn't even get below, like, four bars. Alright, well, let's see. Uh, nothing good in here. I do need to upgrade my moves, though, so I'll take all of this. And now, we should have 65 light weapon. There we go. Wait, no, I should, uh, I should upgrade my flame charm first. Put a little more into light weapons. Hopefully, we can get to the next level here. Boom. Fast blade. Oh, graceful steps, yes. I'll freeze fast blade, take graceful. E wait, what is this? Hitting an enemy with your critical attack immediately after they dodge now procs knife journey. Your knife journey procs do two times armor damage. Oh, so they want me to like roll a catch with my uh with my crit, huh? It's like But that's such a long windup though. How would I ever land that? I'll just take fast blade for now. Relentless flame. Ooh. Oh right, no, it's like the little barrage one. I was playing like battle royale for a bit, and I saw somebody use it, and I was like, that move kind of sucks. No, like the really obvious windup, and it doesn't have that much range. I mean, maybe it's good. And I don't. I just don't know how to use it. I'll just roll two. Here they are, the first flare blood commas. Oh wait, what? It only needed 60 light. Whoops. I guess I got that part wrong. But let's equip it. There you go. I was half expecting it to have like a little soulbound message, but then I forgot it was banked, so. But check this out. Ooh, with the red outfit, this looks kind of nice. I think I need to make Chaser's eyes less orange and more red, but I'll have to go down to layer 2 for that. So we got the janky curved blade of Winds M1, except way faster, and we have the little crit. I think the crit I'm definitely gonna have to get used to using, because let's be honest, what other crit needs you to aim with a mouse except for like the Halloween weapons? Oh, I just noticed something. Like all the swings are red, but like the running attack, they forgot to do it. But this looks pretty cool, dude. So this thing does 19.2 damage plus bleed for 30% pen, which is pretty good. And of course, we got dagger swing speed right here. Yep, this thing is gonna be a pain to fight against. Alright, now that we finished killing the Duke, let's go back to Etrus and talk to Lord Region. Alright, so stats wise, we are actually very close to finishing up the build but with contractor it's gonna take a second because of course i'm still missing bell and then i have to get contractor and then i have to progress the oath by gripping people in the depths which is going to be pretty dangerous so next episode we still have a little ways to go of course put your bets in the comments while i wipe next episode personally i say i won't wipe might be a bit biased i don't know though but we are here at lord regent's house well i guess castle hello i'm back well have you brought the forge Bite your tongue. You have much to learn. Educate yourself on what it is we do here. So now, I need to get my bell, talk to a couple more shrines down in the depths, and then I can come back and get Contractor. But that is going to be the end for this episode of the Chaser Progression. Subscribe if you enjoyed, because I do feel like next episode is going to be a little interesting. And yeah, I'll see you guys next video.